Hey guys, I uh, figured I'd do a part two and um, set this controller up so I can at least give it a test. Um, right off the bat, there was one issue. The throttle cable, the red or the negative and positive, the red and black are reversed. Um, you're going to want to stick something, a pin or something in there and pull those out and reverse them before you put your throttle on the controller because as soon as you turn it on you're going to blow up your throttle which I found kind of weird so I reversed those so red's going to red and black's going to black but that is reversed so just remember you're going to have to reverse those before you do anything um, also this controller is very picky on the orientation of the, your timing um, most controllers you could sit there and you can fiddle around with the timing and then hit the throttle and then it would either make a uh, sound or it would it basically give you an indication of how the timing is. This one here won't even spin at all unless the timing is perfect. I actually had to set up the uh, tester just to see if it even uh, was alive and getting power. I tested the power to the uh, junction box. I was getting 51 volts. Um, Turn this on. And when I turn the power on, I get the flashing light. That means the pick is activated. It's five volts ready. This is working. And when I hit the throttle, I get that. So it wants to work. Let's see what I can do. Well, I'm glad I got to show you how to test it. <laughs> um, it was actually my screw up. I left these three wires here on, which you saw in the first part. They're going into the other controller. They're not going to the hub motor. So basically, when I was testing that controller, it was powering the phase wires <laughs> into the other controller. Um, so the, the other controller was taking the load. Didn't blow up. It can take a lot more than what uh, this can put out. But uh, can you wire two controllers together and power them up? Power one up and power the other one? Yes, you can. And nothing blows up. Uh, the face wires that were coming from the hub motor were on the other side. So I got them hooked up. I got the negative and positive on the throttle reversed, which you can remember to do that. And for my setup, I have the yellow and the green, or the blue, reversed but it's going green to green on the um, on the hulls and it works which I'll show you it's one hander here this is not easy to do oh my god Just it it's easier with the old handlebars So it does work. We'll take it out for a test ride. Woo!
Well, I'm kind of blown away. I thought for sure that uh, this controller was going to be a bit of a joke because of the price. It's uh, it's not bad. It definitely pulls more than 40 amps because it, it heated up my 9C motor pretty good. But uh, it, it's uh, the voltage I had it running on was only... you got to remember, this pack is missing a cell. So it's not even that high of a voltage. I only had it running at 49 volts. And uh, it still had good pickup and uh, speed. So, you know, for $45, they've raised the price, obviously, but uh, for $45, it's still worth it. Uh, if you're looking for something that runs on standard 49-volt battery pack and you want higher amps, it's good for that.